Cheers guys, happy holiday homebrew Wednesday. Just uh, trying to put a quick uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever uh, you and your family celebrate. Uh, hoping you guys the, the best wishes and looking forward to 2016. Um, just uh, figured I'd kick off this video with a little Clements homebrew coming at you. This is Christian's Hoppy Red Kilt Riser from last year's um, SJ Pour Comp. And it says that it, it drinks like a red barley wine, which I think that would be a perfectly good beer to celebrate the Christmas holiday. Try to save the sweet cap from them guys. All right, let's pour this bad boy. Oh yeah. Look at that, boys and girls. Woo. Cheers and happy holidays. Oh man, yeah, the aromas, yeah, you got barley wine. There's some sweet, some caramel, some... Cheers, guys. My God, you guys are right. This, this right here is really, really good. Um, so, yeah, aged. God, that's got to be over a year now, right? That drink's nice. Anyways, i um, going to try to keep this kind of short. Um, had a little bit of Christmas uh, light footage to start out with, but um, just uh, hoping to brew during uh, Christmas uh, break here. Hopefully maybe get a double brew day in. Um, I did dry hop the uh, supercharger, so that should be ready. Oh, man. Saturday or Sunday? Yeah, something like that. So hopefully by like New Year's Eve, maybe I'll be able to try it. That'd be awesome. Um, then uh, the only thing I was going to leave you guys with is uh, this week I did, uh, I had a cleaning day in the brewery and we spent, uh, spent some time uh, cleaning kegs and transferring some stuff over. And I transferred my um, old Bruin over and uh pitch some dregs from the brewery ode to tart i've been kind of building it up for about a year um it was actually new year's eve last year i popped the bottle and been saving and building the dregs up kind of over a year every like two to three months i decant off and then add some fresh so um hopefully the the time is is going to pay off and then i guess we'll see but uh um I guess that's all I got for this week, guys. Cheers, have a wonderful holidays, and uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, enjoy the uh, racking footage. Cheers, guys. Uh, Christian, this is fantastic. Make it again. I love it. All right. About to rack over the old Bruin. Got my sanitized everything in there this is all my sour transferring gear let's do this there you can see a little bit all right so we got everything transferred over. I'm going to be tossing in some Ode to Tart Dregs that I've been building up since almost a year ago. So, heck yeah. So we're gonna throw those in there, put a blanket of CO2 on, and uh, let it go. All right, so we're gonna sanitize the top of this guy before I pull it off.
then we're gonna go we're gonna decant it down we just poured it off this is uh, I don't know if you can see it anyways um, just basically a yeast starter you see little basically I just uh, did a yeast starter and light DME ultralight or premium whatever the heck it is the light DME um, I've been kind of refilling it um, every so often for a year now so this was done on 1231 of last year this is New Year's Eve baby right here anyways guys I'm gonna taste this wort mm. oh yeah it's sour baby it's sour nice gets you right here let's dump it in what, 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 what's the worst that can happen? Anyway, so this is off a bottle of the brewery Eau de Tarte. Um, we're going to dump it in my old brune and uh, see what happens. All right, let's do this. All right, so we got it all good here. I'm going to give it a quick spray of star sand. We're gonna dump this bad boy in. <laughs> it's going down, baby. Cheers. Time to go get a CO2 tank and we're gonna put a blanket of CO2 on the top of it. All right, so we have my CO2 tank. Turn it on. got CO2. I'm going to go ahead and sanitize that up a little bit. Take that off. And we're going to purge. Purge your CO2. Now this is my first time ever doing this, so but everything I was reading, it's a good idea to get all the oxygen out of there. Especially in acidic. I know it's in plastic, but I feel that, uh, that, will, that I feel it will be all right. All right. We're just gonna purge, get all the oxygen out, based on what you know I read on Homebrew Talk and the um, um, Milk the Funk and um, Sour Book and everything. There's discussion about uh, purging the oxygen out. So, we're gonna take the CO2, purge it out, put our airlock back on, and stick it in a dark corner for a long time. They say this is like an 18 month from the time you start till the time you finish, so we'll see this bad boy in like two Christmases from now. Anyways, so we drop the Eau de Tarte dregs in here. We have um, Rosalaire yeast, which is uh, what we put in it at the uh, beginning of primary. So we're just gonna let it go, see what happens. Um, I did take I did take a, uh, a pH sample and a gravity reading, so I'll show you guys those. All right, so you can see right here my pH reading. Currently sitting at a 4.3. So I guess that's a pretty good start there. All right, so here, I got a little bit of yeast in there, but it smells a little tart. Um, gravity came in, finishing gravity going into secondary is 1010. Uh, so let's taste it. Yeah, it's not really uh, sour, like tart yet. Um, there's no like real hot bitterness. There's uh, you get a malt. You get a little bit of like caramel. Hmm. 
interesting. Anyways, um, it'll be interesting to see what this tastes like maybe in like six months from now. Um, so I will give you guys a sample of that. Um, other than that, I'm just gonna let it ride, see what happens. Um, but um, one thing I probably will do is make up maybe a little more wort and then um, fill up the uh, the headspace a little bit so there's less room for oxygen. Um, I realize it's uh, in a plastic jug bottle, um, carboy type thing, but uh, you know, I'm getting away from all the glass and for that I'd rather just keep all my um, all my sour stuff in the plastic um, buckets and stuff and then I'll keep all my clean beers in the, the stainless so anyways that's my old brewing cheers guys